Welcome back to my channel guys, Make Easy. In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can write on the program and find the output. If question is asked in the exam to find the output with dry run, you can use this method by using the table you can do. There are multiple ways to do, but it will be easy for you. So I'm trying to explain you very in very easiest way. So watch till the end and be clear. So I have made another video of dry run of this program you can watch that video also i'll provide the link in the description check out that okay let's continue with this so it may take a little bit more time for iron but i'm sure you will be 100 percent clear and try with me just look up to step one and then after step two you must try and check pause the video and check whether you are correct or not Okay, let's begin. I've written here loop. So this will decide how many times this for loop will execute in this program. I've written here B because this variable B is used in the program. And I have written here A that is also used in the program. You can see here in the loop. And I have written here for loop to check whether the value of A is in the range of 1 to 5 or not. Then output. If something is written in the print statement, then we should write here to display the value. That is the output. Okay. Let's begin from first line b equals to 5. So in here you can see this column b. I'll write here value 5. Then in the next line for a equals to 1 to 5. By looking at this line you can say this for loop will execute 5 times starting from 1 up to 5. Okay good. So first time value of a will be 1. Fine. When this value of a will be 1 it will check the condition. Which condition? Whether the value of a is in the range of 1 to 5 or not. In the for loop condition is checked value of a is 1 so this condition is true we can say true because 1 is in the range of 1 to 5 now when condition is true it will go to the next line inside the for loop there are two lines written here that is this print b first of all print b means value of b will be printed in the output screen that is 5 value of b is you can see here 5 the latest value that will be printed 5 is printed in the output screen print b after print b you can see here b equals to b into 10 plus 5 so in the next line i will go here before value of b is 5 so b that is 5 into 10 plus 5 now this will be 55 okay 55 then after that you can see next a next a means a equals to a plus 1 equals to a plus 1 so here in this line i will write here in the next line i will write here a equals to 2 because initially value of a was 1 now equals to a plus a a plus 1 next a means a equals to a plus 1 just increment the value of a by 1 if there is 1 you can write here 2 a value is now what 2 good and when we reach this line the value of a will be incremented and it will get back to the loop again for loop here now we'll go in this column now you can see 2 is in the range of 1 to 5 or not value of a is 2 is in the range yes so i'll write here true again this condition is true when this condition is true it will print the value of b now check the latest value of b that is here 55 so condition true then it will print 55 after printing again b equals to b into 10 plus 5 so in the next line i will write b that is latest value is 55 into 10 plus 5 so 55 into 10 is 550 plus 5 is 555 five, five. 3 times 5 good after that next a next a means increment the value of a by 1 i will go to the next line in this a variable so before value is 2 now value will be 3 because b equals to a plus 1 it means next a means a equals to a plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 done and after this next a value incrementing it will get back to the loop here in this line now we'll go to here now a value is 3 is this true yes it is true because 1 to 5 now value is 3 condition is true then when condition is true it will go inside the loop again print b print b you can see latest value of b in this b column this is 555 555 is getting printed good okay 
after printing again b equals to b into 10 plus 5 so i will go to this b column in the next line 5 5 5 value of b is 5 already 5 5 5 into 10 plus 5 so 5 5 5 into 10 that is 5 5 5 0 plus 5 is 5 5 5 5 good okay next a again next a means this is the value of a now i'll go to the next line here and before value of a is 3 now this time it will be 4 because next a means a equals to a plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 it is 4 so value of a is 4 then after incrementing value it will go back to the for loop a from here it will go back here in this so it will check the condition again the value of a is 4 is it in the range of 1 to 5 yes so again it is true when it is true it will go inside the loop and print the value of b now you can see the latest value of b is 5555 5, 5, 5. so 5555 5, 5 will be printed good then after printing again b equals to b into 10 plus 5 so we'll go to the next line of b here so b is 5555 5, 5, 5 already into 10 plus 5 so 5555 5, 5 into 10 is 5555 5, 5, 5, 5, 0 plus 5 is 5555 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 times 5 good so this value is calculated next a next a means again increment the value of a by 1 before it is 4 now it will be 5 no after incrementing it will go back to the for loop again to check the condition whether it is in the range of 1 to 5 or not yes we have a value 5 and it is in the range of 1 to 5 so again true true then uh, when it is true it will print b print b means print the value of b latest value you can check this is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is getting printed in the output screen. Good. Then, again after printing, b equals to b into 10 plus 5. Again, we'll go to the b column here. Now, b. b value is already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 10 plus 5. So this will be 6 times 5. So let me write the value. So I, if we calculate this, the value will be 6 times 5. Okay next a next a means increment the value of a by 5 a by 1 so before it is 5 it will be 6 so it will check the condition again when the value of a is incremented it will go back to the loop in the loop it will check the condition whether the a value is in the range of 1 to 5 or not this time it is 6 so it is false not true so this loop condition is false when this loop condition is false it will go just after next a that is end of the program so what is our output you can see here in the output column first time 5 next time 5 5 third time 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 so this is the output of this program so how many times loop is executed you can check the value of a this is what first time and this is what next time this is what third time this is what fourth time this is what fifth time you can check this true 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 and this is what six time but the sixth time this is false and our result is this so let me show you by running this program in qbasic okay now program is executing you can see yeah result is absolutely correct that is five 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 you can take a screenshot of this also okay and you can take a screenshot of this table also in this way it will be easy for you to dry run the program you can dry run any program in this way if you have any confusion you can just comment below and if you have any program to dry run you can just paste your program in the comment box i will make the video for that mm -hmm.